I want to welcome you back to Boxing Jabs tonight. We're going to talk about the Emmanuel Navarrete unanimous decision over Oscar Valdez. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Tonight, Emmanuel Navarrete beat Oscar da, I mean Valdez by unanimous decision. This was a tremendous game plan by Emmanuel Navarrete. He used his reach, his huge six inch reach advantage against Oscar Valdez to defeat, defeat him. But he also used the multitude of punches that he threw against Valdez. If you're throwing 80 punches around and you have a six inch reach, you should win the fight. And that's what Navarrete did. He was, it was an excellent game plan by his corner he went out and he used the game plan and he won the fight easily to me i thought him using that jab was the biggest win of this fight for Narate. if you saw him basically pumping it and pumping it and throwing it and throwing it and constantly keeping it in valdez's face and you could see the results of that jab in his face then throwing a multitude of straight right hands, uppercuts, left. He threw so many different punches at Oscar Valdez. There was no way Valdez could win this fight. I'm going to give Valdez credit. He was extremely game during this fight. He showed that he would fight to the end. And he really did. He showed that he had the heart of a champion, which he used to be. But Navarrete was just too much, just too talented, too long, too fast. His ring generalship was good tonight. He kept him at the end of that jab. That was the key to the fight. And he ended up winning the fight extremely easy to me. And he should be proud of himself. So now he can move on to bigger and better payday. But Navarrete, now he's 38 and 1 with this huge win against Valdez. We'll see if he step forward and try to unify the rest of the belts within that division. Or he will stop trying and end up fighting a monster in a way in an upcoming fight. That would be a huge fight for both fighters if that fight was to ever happen. But tonight, Valdez was just, he was just outmatched by a longer, faster, quicker, more intelligent fighter. That's what it was all about tonight. And he ended up losing this fight to this great, uh, this great junior lightweight. So we'll see what happens next within that division, who steps forward. Who will never take uh, fight because there's not much there ahead of him uh, until he can possibly fight in a way. I want to thank you for listening to Boxing Jabs. This quick take. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also share this video.